Are you someone who's interested in incident response and capture the flag competitions? Or maybe you're just interested in one or the other, and that's okay too. Either way, I'm excited for a couple of reasons. The first, next week on July 19th, we are having our free incident response summit. We're gonna have eight speakers and a panel sharing their stories and their advice from what they have experienced in their careers in incident response. Those talks are definitely going to be very interesting. But if talks aren't your thing and you wanna get your hands on the keyboard, you might be interested in our incident response capture the flag competition. This is brought to you by our good friends over at Meta CTF. The incident response CTF is free to join just like our summit and prizes include an in-person ticket to Wild West Hackenfest in October this year, a $100 gift card to our Spearfish General Store where you can get some cool merch like this hat or t-shirt, and also a $50 gift card to the Spearfish General Store as well. If you're interested in joining the CTF, you can compete solo or you and your team of up to four will be competing against other players to attack their services while also trying to defend your own services. So to go over some of the finer details of this event, let's meet up with our good friends at MetaCTF. So attack and defense is a type of a capture flag competition. Uh, you might be familiar with Jeopardy style competitions that we often run, but attack and defense is slightly more slightly different. I think it's more popular in Europe. The way it works is instead of give, instead of being given independent challenges that you have to solve for points, this type of competition format is a lot more hands-on. So each team is going to be given a set of four identical services. Um, the number of services is different in different competitions, but in the IR Summit CTF, we're going to have four services. You'll have access to the source code of the services and the machine that they're running on. These services are dockerized, which means that each of these services is running in some container so, so that if the if somebody breaks into your service it's not uh, the attacker will not be able to get onto the host and exploit the other services so, so each of the four services is isolated and your goal as a participant in this competition is to analyze the source code all these services to find the vulnerabilities patch these vulnerabilities it might be a python application it might be a php application it might be you know written in some other language but you have to look at the source code and patch it and once you find those vulnerabilities you will have access to the running instances of every other team's services. And so you'll need to be able to use these vulnerabilities and, and exploit them in other teams in order to get flags. Once you steal those flags, you can submit them for, for, for points. And once you are have a, a successful exploit, you, sh you should be able to automate it because there are going to be a lot of teams and it's going to be impractical for you to manually steal these flags for every team every few minutes. And so that's why automation is a big part of the game as well. And in addition to this, since you'll, you'll be able to see all of the network traffic that is coming towards your services, which means that if other teams are successfully exploiting your service and stealing the flags, you're going to be able to uh, look at the network traffic and see how those attacks happened and, and use that to, to find the vulnerabilities in your services and patch them. Moving on to the flags. So flags are essentially a string of text that you can get from, you can exchange for points in the scoreboard. The, the entire game is going to be split into basic units of time called ticks, and they're gonna be roughly 90 seconds each. Every single tick, our scoring engine is gonna plant a new flag in each of the team's services. Each of the services represents some kind of realistic application and it has a functionality that allows us to plan the secret information. Cool, so just to go through what was already said sort of in graphical format, basically, you know, the competition is going to be composed of a, a tick that happens every 90 seconds. And upon every tick, our score bot is going to, you know, plant a flag on everybody's system. As Roman explained, each flag is going to come with some sort of publicly visible identifier. For example, the bot may create a user on everyone's service and plant some secret data associated with that user. So it creates user Alice on team one, user Bob on team two, etc. Now, any team such as team one here that has figured out an exploit, let's say like a buffer overflow or a SQL injection, um, is going to run their script. They're going to try exploiting everybody's service except for their own. So in this example, you know, team one, team one's exploit runs against team two. Uh, they managed to leak the secret data of user Bob, which they recover. Uh, their exploit is also going to be attempted against team three, but it's not going to work because we saw earlier team three patched their service to prevent that vulnerability. And then finally, the competitor scripts are going to run against the scorebot API. They're going to submit all the flags that they stole. 
every team that stole a flag, as Roman explained, is going to gain points. Every team that had a flag stolen from them is going to lose points. And teams that successfully defended themselves against exploits are going to stay the same. And remember, the services are also checked for uptime. And also remember, in this example, we just have three teams, but in reality, there's going to be a whole lot more than that. So scripting is really essential. Making sure that your attacks can run against all the teams except your own um, is really going to help you gain points quickly. So the way to participate is you sign up at the registration link. It's linked on the IR Summit website. Once you once the competition starts, you will be able to go to the problems page and you will see the URLs and domains for all of your services, as well as your, t your secret token. Your secret token is going to be the password to your vulnerable box. It'll be the password to your tools. It'll be the password to the API. So, so don't, don't leak your token. But you, you, you'll see all those links from the MetaCTF website. And if you have any questions, we're going to be providing support in Discord. So you can just ask us there and we'll, we'll try to help. One last thing, you know, we, we brought this up earlier, but automation is really important because there are going to be, you know, 40 or 50 teams for services in a new flag planted every 90 seconds, which means that every night, every 90 seconds, there's going to be 200 new flags for you to steal. You know, at first, you know, as you're solving these exploits, it makes sense to do them manually. But at some point, you're going to start have to write a script to automate this part. On the machine that we're going to give you, there is already a cron job that has been configured that runs every, I think, every two minutes or every one minute or so that currently does nothing, but 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 it's already configured for you to, to, to write your own code and, and, and automate it. So you can use that as a starting point. But also, just to kind of summarize the, the process, using your team token, you'll have to query the API at live flags. And this will give you a list of all of the live and valid flags that are still available. You'll see the team ID, the flag ID, and when it expires. And you'll also be able to, you know, once you have a list of all those flags, you can exploit them using the flag ID and then send the request to the API submit endpoint with your flag. Once again, if you need any help automating, we're going to be providing support in Discord. So just let us know. Now, I really appreciate the team at MetaCTF meeting up with us to go over those details, but here are a couple other things that I really wanna highlight with y'all. Anyone with any level of knowledge can compete. There's a wide range of challenges from more beginner friendly to more advanced, but you should probably be kind of familiar with coding because that's gonna help make things much easier for you. Additionally, if you are trying to form a team or understand what type of knowledge that you should have, the following is going to be very helpful for you or your team to understand. You or someone on your team should have some familiarity with automating and writing scripts, network traffic analysis, looking at you know network traffic and wading through those logs, exploit development and research, finding vulnerabilities that you know no one has yet to discover. So you know either you or someone on your team being able to look at and understand exploits and how you can take advantage of them or taking what you've learned from exploits that were being used on you to try to use them on other people and find their flags. So when you start the CTF, you can analyze the services yourself, discover any vulnerabilities that you're familiar with, or if you aren't finding anything, you can start going through the network logs to discover how other teams are stealing your flags and identify those attack methods so that you can try to steal flags for yourself. And this is really important to note. Everything that you need to get started is available on the MetaCTF page. You'll find those links in the description below. And this is going to include information on Docker and VS Code because they are both going to be utilized. And you can find more information on how you can automate the submission of the flags on that page as well. So even if you're not too great at coding, you will be able to follow along with what they provided at MetaCTF so that you can get started and make things much easier for you. Or if you find that you need any help during the CTF, we are going to have support available under the Anti-Siphon Training Discord server. So please join that and you can find that support under our Incident Response CTF channel. If you find that maybe you aren't ready for an Incident Response CTF, but you want to learn more about incident response, you can join us for one of our training classes on the following two days of the summit on June 20th and 21st. And here's a list of those trainings that are going to be available. So whether you're interested in joining us for our free summit, the CTF, or one of these training classes, you can find more information in the description below. And I hope to see you there.